Here we have a standard KitchenAid uh, mixers. These are common, you know, I, there's millions of them out there in their most part, these things just, they're phenomenal. They're just built really well. Had an interesting situation today. We just got a mill, a flour mill attachment and uh, it was working just fine. And then all of a sudden it stopped working. So prompt me what's, what was going on. So after doing a teardown, I realized that this gear here, which the, the hub assembly uh, plugs into, was completely seized. It was seized right in here, and it took not just a ton of might and a punch to punch that out, but it was severely seized. And so apparently what happened is the, the, um, the grease that was used around this spindle portion had burned out essentially and it had completely locked it down hard and solidified and these things do get hot when you're using attachments for long periods of time and something i don't recommend but something i wasn't paying attention to at the time so once you get this thing out and clean it off use some uh, 600 or 800 uh, uh, wet or dry sandpaper you know to clean that really good and also clean and uh, the inside of that as well um, and uh, then well, what do you use? Well, anybody that does their own break should have a can of this around. This is called caliper grease. Now, you don't want to use this obviously for the rest of the internal working parts, but just on this portion, just take a little bit of that and then put it around here. And what's the difference between caliper grease and some of these other greases, even the food grade greases, is they, they do wear down. Um, this is designed for breaks that get very, very hot and the grease won't break down. Um, and that should prevent this from seizing again. So uh, just a tidbit for those that are doing this repair or discovered that their hub assembly has been seized as well. Uh, you're just going to continue to have to do this repair over and over again if uh, you use this as standard, you know, food grease greases like, like this, you know, or even if molly grease, it just won't hold up under uh, extensive use where things do get a little warm.